Welcome to Shopfield Music. Today we're going to be here at Shopfield Studio South working on the camper trying to get some tones. So, this is his other Telecaster. This is the uh, American Professional Telecaster. It's white this one bought him. has both hum, uh, single coil. That we are not going to modify. Right? Correct. Some country pecking or mm -hmm. clean chord clean chords. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> probably not my favorite Telecaster uh, amp setting. For this particular Telecaster? For that Telecaster, right. So you would switch uh, to a different, maybe go to your amp rig one well, with the Stratocaster. Yeah. And just hear how it sounds before you go getting... Get what now? Go back to uh, your your first rig, your Strat rig, and play that through your clean Strat rig and see how that sounds. Yeah, sure. something very similar right and just tweak it a little bit did you turn your tone down or keep it up there you go. go to the neck fun currently. Mm -hmm. Celestian is a speaker. Right. So I'm not sure exactly. I don't know that either, but that's why I don't like these codes. I know. Already I like this band better. Yeah. Already I like this way better. Go to your bridge now. Do some twang. Now this is a pleasable twang. Because uh, we're not exactly sure what it is. And it's got effects on it right now, right? It does have 
Because when you do something like that, it comes preloaded with That's compression, but I hear when you're doing country music, they always have compressors. Yes. I would leave it just like it is and call it Naps Country. Well. Naps Country Telly. Naps Telly Country. Usually if you're doing um, country type music, they usually have delay on it. This is the amp without it. A slapback delay is. It's right there. Like your delay goes real quick. And the other thing is, is you know, yes, it's labeled as Naps um, Country Telly or Naps Telly Country, whatever you want to call it. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't grab your Stratocaster and play through it either. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have options here to change the tone by just switching guitars. So you like that. I, I do. Like, I really I, like that. Don't well, you? Yeah, I kind of did. I didn't seem playable. Well, because you have to like so it, if, not me. So if we're playing a country song, and mm -hmm. you're playing rhythm to it, and I want to lay in and do some telly lead work. Yep. That is what I would want. Now, I, can, I know I can get rhythm for this just fine. <laughs> Right. I, you know, so if I want to do a little lead, mm -hmm. what could I? Is it good the way it is? Well, I mean, you've There's got your no volume boost. max on the guitar, right? I do. So certainly that that can't go anymore. Right. So to do lead, then I think we have to rely on a boost pedal again, or mm -hmm. a distortion pedal, or a fuzz box of some kind to get that okay. grit in there that you want for a lead, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah. But country there, doesn't have a lot already of rock and roll. Uh, uh, something on it. So what, let's see what they have. Yeah, let's see what they have. And I might change the A to the D. The compressor? Yeah. Leave the compressor where it's at. Even though it's in a different location. Yeah, I know it's in a different location, but compressor should always come first. Okay, okay that's why they have it there. So. Doesn't always have to come first. I only recommend it. <laughs> But that, I have mine in the loop of my Abossi S8 switcher, so I can actually move around. That's a great tally lead right there. Yeah? Yep, you're good to go. <laughs> you like this one. I do. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to play too much of that. I know. Go ahead and noodle around if you want. this one so I'm just gonna make it a favorite and rename it what about since I got a telly still got good keep sound I got yep. a good country sound country sound now another thing you might use a telecaster for well I know uh, Tom Petty used a telecaster a lot yep well, he used the Strat a lot too he also used a Rickenbacker, a Rickenbacker a, lot. a lot okay so he used a lot of guitars most of them are high pitched. But I like his telly when he's doing uh, Mary Jane's Last Dance. Mm -hmm. He used a Vox though quite a bit, Tom Petty. Mm -hmm. so I wonder what a Vox might sound like with the Telecaster. I've yet to really play a Vox that I liked. It's a very annoying tone to me. It's too gritty and high pitched for me, really. For my my purposes. Pitch yeah. gritty and in a, to me not as pleasant sound, but 
I think a Vox is an acquired taste, uh, which I've yet to mess around with one, so I, I can't really be opinionated on it. I just know I, I haven't heard one that I kind of like. So there's got to be a way that you can dial it in or... My uh, cousin plays with a box, a couple of them, in the band uh, around my town. And I think he plays out with a box AC-10. And he told me he's got a box AC-4 for his uh, bedroom. And I dug his tones when he was playing out. To me, he sounded like the Allman Brothers meets Oasis. Um, yeah. So it's how you dial it in and how you make it sound, but... Uh, I don't think I heard him play anything that sounded remotely close to Tom Petty, but it would have been neat to hear. But I dug his tone. That AC-10 was sweet. Is this the AC-30? Can you turn the treble down in the mids up a little bit? I'm sensing a theme. Oh, oh, oh. Take that better. Um, they're definitely sounds a little thin. Yes, to me. Well, where is the presence at? Presence is down quite a bit. Well, take that back a little bit. Remember, it darkened the tone last time. It didn't. Work. Let's see what happens when you do a little bit. <laughs> Try it. Let's see what happens. Because the AC-30s had top boost, which I don't know because I've never played with one. I don't understand how that works. Um, does this give you an option for a top boost? Or maybe that's what's in that effects over there that's on. Mm -hmm. See that top right there? It's reverb. Oh, it's just reverb. Okay. on that and see what we can't bring because the, the the highs are very I think the mids and the bass is kind of full but the, the highs are definitely <clears> really twangy but compressioned it am I yeah that, that could possibly work too I mean we can take multiple stabs out of here you like to put that in the beginning right I always do yes pick to me single white female what do I mean by ice pick you say yeah like I say when I hear the high trebles coming out of the amplifier speakers this part it's an unpleasant high that's hitting my ear and I don't like it you don't like that stuff that's not bad there but when you're strumming it bad there. That wasn't bad. I, I kind of like that. Yeah, then you need to go with what you like. So we're going to leave that. Now we can come back and adjust the amp with the compression on. Gotcha. Maybe. Might help a little different. Um, 
Try turning the presence down a little bit more. Yeah. Let's see what that does. <laughs> back on yeah. it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's not very good. Mm -hmm. If I turn the bass up, you think it would help the treble at all? Hopefully it doesn't make it muddy. Try it. Because sometimes with certain amps, if you mess with one section of the EQ, it will affect the other sections. Right. So we're going to stay with that for the... I think that'll work. Now, <clears throat> the lead tone. I see that it looks like there might be a distortion already in there. Yeah. What is that one? That is a green scream. Okay. Uh, that would be the one I would probably think that would go with that amp. <laughs> Just can't cut through. I'm gonna boost it. Okay, there you go. Sorry, oh, man. There I like go. the tone though. It sounds yep. good. Yep. So, C. Mm -hmm. I want definitely just a clean boost. Right. So off. You're not getting through the mix. Click it on. Play a little bit. myself to try to get there with this. You gotta first. leave yourself some room, yeah. I'll be trying it with this first. A lot of times it's a great idea to, to leave your volume at say right. seven and set your stuff up. Right. I always know that you have that extra. And if I go extra and I still don't have it, bump on that. Well, there, there there you go. Oh, now I'm gonna roll down. Right. That can work. So I think I'm okay. I, mean, I could go down just a little. No, I think you. I think yeah. as long as you know you want to play with your volume. Yeah, because I'm. A, I, I control a little bit okay. of my volume quite a bit. All right. Because I don't touch my pedals that often. Right. I'm doing both, so <laughs> I'm always, All right. yeah, good idea. I like so, that. I like that. These can go off. Compression stays on. And you're probably good with the Kelly. Yeah, I think so. So I will label this Kelly Box. Kelly Box. Hello, John. 
Thank you. Yeah. Uh, went through a few uh, amps at least, and I got a few sounds for the Telecaster and a nice one for the Strat, I think. It's my pleasure. I love uh, to hear tone and make it better. I know that uh, <clears throat> you're doing the Keith Richards Telecaster for me. It's nice to get a sound that I think is going to work for that. And yeah. uh, if nothing else, I now know sort of what to do when I go ahead and get some tones for the other kind of guitars I have. So yeah. you're going to leave that up to me. The humbuckers and the rest of your guitars, because you got some hollow bodies as well. So, yeah, I think uh, you're going to find that it's just understanding the pedal order, how you want to perceive going at your tones and your sounds. Everybody's different. Right. What I found works best for me, I've kind of been all over the place, and I've done a lot of pedal boards and a lot of different amplifiers. So I think what works for me is a understanding a good easy layout that you can remember and like on something as complex as a Kemper uh, keeping that the same throughout the whole process of switching an amp yeah. or switching a pedal knowing where your pedals lie in the chain kind of keep them remotely in the same area so that way in the heat of say making music in a live situation you don't have to think too much yeah it's really when we're playing live you know, you know, it it, it ruins the uh, flow if you're sitting there searching for too long. Yes. And then if you're playing in a song live, then you want to be able to add some colors and stuff it on the fly where you're at and where you can. Uh, Rather than drop out of the mix, which has happened right. before, where we click on a pedal we think is going to help boost you into yeah. a wonderful it, land, and all of a sudden we don't know where you went. Either you don't know where I went, or, or you came in over the top so loud that we were like. Wow, this is euphoric, man. <laughs> yeah, or it's such a terrible tone. Right, we've been like, there too. <laughs> the whole thing's just done. Like, yes. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, I ruined it. Right. Well, and so that's happened. It's just because lack of knowledge and how to run yeah. the Kemper and how you want to set it up. So hopefully, yes, you got a good start. This is going to get you into, I think, the rest of them, and uh, you know we're a YouTube channel away. So yeah, well, you know, if you guys find this interesting, I will uh, try and continue on with some of the other guitars solo without John here. Yeah. And then uh, I know you're only a phone call away. And I'll be looking forward to the video because I want to see how you set it up too. All right. And, just, and All right. hear those tones, my man. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think about some of these uh, amp settings we're coming up with or if you have a Kemper, how you set it up. Uh, or any recommendations on yeah. the Kemper you, with your uh, settings. i glad to you know, hear and see what everybody else is doing with their campers. I think that'd be uh, awesome to just see what they, yeah. you know. I know I've had it for a while and does a lot, and now I'm going to try to use it. Right. Where it's supposed to be used, so we'll see what happens. Cool. All right, well, thanks for uh, hanging out with us, guys. Hope you dug it. All right. Please like, subscribe, and bell it, yo. Cheers. <sighs> what a fascinating video that was for Tuesday. That was, man. I really dug the concept that you had with that. Thank you. Yeah. If you like that one, do you have any more? Well, there might be more of just you and maybe some more of me. Check them out over right. there. Please like, subscribe, and bell it while you're there. Cheers! <laughs>